A moment of meditation. Joy of Zion Church. Let's confess together. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. I am a new creation. God loves me. God blesses me. God makes me righteous. God gives me peace that the world cannot give. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am delighted. I am happy. I am joyful. I am okay. I am doing good. In Christ, I am a person with overwhelming confidence to win in any situation and circumstance. I am a victor, not a victim. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to control my inner climate regardless of external circumstances. I am a spirit having the spirit. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to maintain a positive attitude in a negative situation. I am blessed to be a blessing. I will never, never, never be the same again. Ambassadors of good news, we then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1-2 to You are living in the day of salvation, the day of God's grace, not His wrath. The Bible says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly, in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Titus chapter 2 verses 11 to 13 As we approach the end of this present world, we are to live circumspectly, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present them perfect in Christ Jesus. Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 He wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 That's why he sent us to preach the good news of salvation, to preach the gospel. This is the day of the gospel. And gospel means good news. We are ambassadors of good news, to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 19 to 20. In Matthew chapter 9 verses 37 to 38, Jesus said to his disciples, "The harvest truly plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest." that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. We are his laborers for the harvest, his witnesses, sent with the message of his saving power. We are the bearers of the gospel of his grace. Take the message everywhere this yuletide. Preach it boldly, and he'll confirm your words with signs and wonders and miracles. Remember, Jesus said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 This gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. It's the power of God to make sinners righteous, to bring men into fellowship with God. What an honor it is to be the bearer of the good news of Christ's salvation, helping people discover Jesus and turning them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God. Confession, dear Father, it is such an honor to be the bearer of the good news of Christ's glorious salvation to mankind. Your truth is proclaimed in all the earth in these last days, and your kingdom is established in the hearts of men. Many are snatched from destruction and damnation into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. Blessed be your name forever. Amen. I hope so much Jesus be inside you and covers you today. Have a glorious day or have a glorious night. See you tomorrow.